Hey guys, welcome back. It's Cass. Uh, welcome back to season two, episode seven of our hardcore series. And in this one, I make myself a giant birthday cake and we take a couple detours. So stay tuned. <laughs> but to begin, I'm clearing out this hill because I really wanted to make the cake here, I guess. To be honest, I now having built it, I wish I would have built it a little further away, but I imagine kind of everything around the village will just take shape and that's a big portion of where I will build. In here, I'm just trying to lay out kind of like a basic circle because in the beginning, my idea with the cake was to make a circle. Like when you look up the Minecraft cake image, it's a circular cake. Um, and it's just like when you see it in your inventory, it's a circular cake. And when you like buy it and make it and everything, it's circular. So that's how I had started this. That's why you see me laying out the torches like in a perfect circle, you know, terraforming everything around to fit this circle. And I originally was just going to put the cake on the ground, I think. Um, but you see me running back for the wool. And I'm, you know, I, the, honestly, this took so much time just because of this right here, shearing the sheep. I had to go back so many times to do this over and over and over and over and over to get enough wool and just try to work it out um so yeah a lot of time was spent just on shearing sheep to be honest <laughs> but i did put the cake down on a pillar and then i decided that i didn't want it on the dirt um and since my i have two masons and since they sell like the quartz block and the quartz pillars i think that's where i decided okay i'm gonna make it be a little more fancy and so that's kind of like what you see me doing here. That was kind of my idea. I do find another watering trader, but he doesn't sell anything that I don't already have. And they just keep disappearing. It's just the wildest thing. And somehow I get more leads. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and then here I wanted to be like every other Minecraft YouTuber I've ever seen where they tower up with this pillar of ores um, and then break it all down with their fortune 3 pick to see how much they get so I definitely wanted to do that there was no diamonds in this one unfortunately it was just coal and copper and iron and also redstone oh and I think there's a little bit of lapis in it as well um, and I do open up my full inventory to show you here how many that I got overall which was pretty great. But then I put down a chest. See? And the cakes are circular. So I'm like, go in circle with it. Um, you will see that I do change my mind and then do have to tear all of that down. But first, we go out and take a couple pit stops. I just wanted to explore a little further out. Um, and here I found my first uh, geode. As I say amethyst, but I get the amethyst out of it. But it's my first geode that I found. And of course I grabbed the coordinates for it because I ended up having to leave a lot of the stuff behind along the way because I hit up many sunken ships kind of through this exploring time-lapse area of the video. Um, I hit up so many of them um, that I couldn't carry all the crystals and stuff. So here's one of the first ones that I came across. And then, you know, I get the treasure map in each one and then I go searching for the treasure, which is how I'm getting more emeralds, diamonds in two of them, I think, overall. Like, there's one in here. But overall, I think I got, like, three or four diamonds. Um, and then iron and just trying to scope things out. Um, in another one, I found more moss blocks. Not this one, obviously. But in another one, I do end up finding more moss blocks. But I don't believe that I take them with me since I've already found it and I have moss at the house. But I do, do take the prismarine, as you can see. I mean, my inventory's full and I'm just trying to figure out like what is worth getting rid of. 
I do end up going through two, I found a huge desert, but I do end up going through two desert temples and I filmed the whole process. I get more diamonds out of here. I do take the diamond horse armor, but I, you know, just want to be filming in case I do get an enchanted apple. I do get a golden apple, but not an enchanted one, not a god apple. Um, but yeah, I took cords of like this village, the two desert temples so that I can come back because in one of them, I left two saddles behind. I left amethyst behind. Like I was just ditching stuff, trying to figure out what I thought was more worth it at the time to keep on me. And then, you know, like I said, taking the cords, I'll come back and grab stuff later. Um, but nothing in here. I left the TNT in both of them. I think I, yeah, I completely left the TNT in both of them. So I'll have to come back for that as well. This ship, I will be coming back here and digging the entire thing out and shaping the landscape around it. Because I have never found a full ship that's been buried for one but a full ship in its entirety with no issues so i spend some a decent amount of time digging this entire thing out you know going through the chest getting the sunken ship map and all that kind of stuff i do that again all over everything but yeah i definitely feel really committed to Coming back here and digging the whole thing out, I think it would be cool to shape the landscape around it to possibly be some kind of like pirate theme or even, I don't know, just shaping the sea and the land around it. But then I found these like drowned houses and one of the guys has a trident and I'm super scared of him and I keep trying to avoid him. And then you'll see here in a little bit like... I end up killing him when I, I remember being, I remember running away. I mean, like taking the cords because I ditched two treasure maps here that I don't go end up searching for right here. You can see both of them I put back in there. But this guy, I'm like, man, it'd be so great if he dropped a trident, but I know they're so rare. But you will see it pop into my inventory here in two seconds. <laughs> right after I kill him and I didn't even notice there it is that it's in I, I run away and then I find it I'm like super super excited about it but I've only killed eight drowned to get that which I thought that it was going to be way more difficult but we take a side quest here to just appreciate how stinking cute these little baby goats are like how stinking cute one of them headbutts me I don't think I included that in here but one of them headbutts me and they hit me just as hard as the big ones do. But they're just so cute. And I get a new horse. I love, love the color of these horses. So him and I make the long trek and journey back. And I put, you know, the diamond horse armor on him. I haven't named anything except for the axolotls and, the, and a cat in a live stream. Um... And I'll link that live stream as well. But I put him there, but I love the coloring of it. And kind of through this phase right here, I mean, I'm still, you know, going through shearing the sheep, adding them. And then I'm like, but it's square when you put it down, as are all things in Minecraft. And then I kind of felt like maybe making it square was the right decision so I go through and I tear down all of this as you see me doing and then I do the 14 by 14 block of how it actually is in Minecraft in the square so I'm laying the quartz pillars the quartz blocks down and then I do end up making some quartz slabs to kind of like make it almost seem like it's a fancy tower holding it but yeah, we go through the whole process here. And then, like, if you look at the cake, there's dark brown pieces. And I couldn't quite figure out what to do that with. But I did it all with wood. And so I traced the whole shape of the cake around with wood. And originally, I really didn't like it. But in the end, I think it helps 
give that not only texture difference but color difference that I feel like a lot of these builds especially with yarn which is like what I did with the bee I feel like they need that they need like the breakup of the texture and some kind of color variant which is why you see me even putting the quartz blocks and stuff up top just to differentiate a bit from the white wool I could have made white concrete I didn't and maybe that's something I will do over time to cut down on the wool all over because it's a lot of wool um but yeah just it took so long and I even um I did buy 10 more small drip leaf here woo 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 <laughs> but I did end up staying at my um spider spawner for a while because then you can turn the spider webs or I guess the string into wool but and I don't really know why I did this here <laughs> but I do build the portal and I do light it but I don't go into it I've got to work up the courage I'm just really nervous because you don't know where you're going to spawn that's half of how it works um, but I just feel like I need to be a little more prepared to go in given I don't know what it's going to be like. But here I move on. I show the before of this hill kind of pressed back further, like the bees to the left, you know, the village is kind of behind me. Um, but I like terraform all this out and then I have the idea of making a general mob farm on the inside. Now, full transparency, I... I feel like it works okay, but something's off about it and wrong about it, so I will need to work on fixing it because stuff will only spawn on the inside if I'm like that 80 blocks above. And I just followed a tutorial I found on YouTube. Uh, if I remember, I'll link it down below. Um, but I followed that tutorial and it recommended like going 80 blocks in the air to afk but i'm anti-afking i won't be doing it for anything in this world that's just not how playing the game works for me personally um so i didn't want to afk but i'm gonna be building a tower on top of the hill and it will be going probably that high so i'm hoping you know if i can't find a way to like optimize it in a different way before that then maybe building the tower will make it easier for me to be able to afk and i do realize i need to go back in at some point and put slabs and or carpets down to stop spiders from spawning because there's a ton of spiders spawning but um they don't fall down they don't walk off the edge um but yeah, that's me making it all dark. And then I do make the mistake of not taking down the lights as you can see inside there. Cause when I do this entire room is completely pitch black and you can't see anything anyway after that. So I do feel like I still need to keep working on it. But I'm back with, I think I have a ton of dirt on me, but I do start putting in the cherries, kind of sprinkling them all around and trying to make it look as close to the square minecraft cake as possible and i do end up adding in as you can see the quartz pillars to recreate that like textured darker swirl on the cake itself and i'm really happy i did um the swirl that you can see there and i do have to move that red over to the side but here we go. I finish it. I'm so excited to have it done. It took so long to do. Um, but, you know, just taking a look. And then I add the 32 on top. And I was talking about it in this last stream. But a lot of people think that I am old or younger than I actually am. I am turning 32 on October 6th. This video is going up on October 8th. Um, and so yeah that i mean and i kind of explained in my stream like when you get older a lot of people don't celebrate your birthday you typically don't tend to celebrate it either the older you get but i wanted to be a little cheeky here and take some time to celebrate it myself and just i don't know i felt like it was a good opportunity to do a cool build since i seem to be really big on making 
all the smaller objects way bigger. Um, but just, yeah, on the inside, I lay out the quartz pillars and I put 32 cakes inside. And so this is my 32nd birthday celebration to myself. Um, just being a little cheesy about it. I'll probably never go in here or eat the cakes or anything, but I think it was just the concept of recreating the cake in a bigger form. Plus, I had to put the 32 cakes inside. That's only fair. And while I was putting the cakes outside, I wasn't paying attention to the fact that it was nighttime, so I slept. And then I ran out to not only pillagers in my face, and it's not that dramatic here, but I run into a direction. Like, I try to run that way. There's a ton of pillars. I run this way, and there are three creepers that end up blowing up behind me. It absolutely scares me. At the time, I was like, I'm going to die. I remember saying that out loud. I was fine. I took no damage, <laughs> but it still absolutely scared me. And this is just finishing some minor details in the cake. Here's what the inside of the cake's cake looks like with the 32 cakes inside. And here is the exterior with the 32. But thank you guys for watching. That's it for this hardcore episode. Um, loved doing this cake build. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget I stream on Mondays. Bye!